Oh, I didn't see you there. Just doing some Python programming. Today I'm going to show you how to turn an archive page of newsletters into a text file filled with HTML links. All of them. It's going to be awesome. Let's go get it on. This is a newsletter archive. Here's an issue of the newsletter and there are a bunch of links in here and I wanted to get all the links into a text file. And I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly with Python using Beautiful Soup, which is a web scraping package. And I'm also gonna use Vim, but you can just use any text editor. Now I'm gonna do this in a Jupyter notebook. You can do it in a script, you can do it in your Python IDE, it doesn't really matter. All right, so I know we're gonna want this package called Beautiful Soup. So I'm gonna pip install Beautiful Soup. Anytime you put an exclamation point in the Jupyter notebook, it's gonna run it as though it was on the command line. We also have to install requests, which is a really nice package for making URL calls. Okay, so. So we're gonna import beautiful soup and we're also gonna import requests. Cool. So there's the URL. So now I'm gonna add the uh, URL response to a variable named page. So now I'm gonna use beautiful soup to parse the uh, contents of that page. That page is just a bunch of HTML. I can show you it right here. See if you notice that this is just a stand the HTML page with all the links. Okay, so we're gonna use this page content. Beautiful Soup's using the HTML parser to parse through the page content. And now I'm gonna return a list of all the links. I'm just gonna print them to a list and see what happens. Here we go. So these are all the different uh, newsletters right here. I'm just gonna do a little text processing, you know, brute force it. You have to do that sometimes just to get things done. I'm gonna use Vim, but you can use any, anything you want for this part. Text editor, a common one is BB edit. Is Python rad? You bet your tootsie it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna sort this. Okay, delete that top one. Go to the bottom. Delete those. Okay, now it looks like we have all these in just a, a text file, but what we really want is to put them in a list. So if we want them in the in a list in Python, I'm gonna pre-process this here a little bit and add um, quotes to the beginning and the end and then add a comma to the end of them all as well. Okay, so first I'm gonna add the double quote at the beginning. Okay, and at the end, I'm gonna put the end quote at the end of the line and then a comma as well. Okay, and we know we don't want need that end comma. 
I'm going to select it all. So I'm just going to paste them into a list. Cool. So now we have a list called index. Let's just look at, we got 33 and that was correct. Cool. I'm just checking the number of items in that index. All right. Now we're going to write a little function to add all the href links into a text file. Let's do an I. So here we're uh, getting all the HTML for each I in index. Here we're parsing the content again in an HTML parser. But as you notice this time, like since we have this list called index, these are all the pages on that main archive page. It's going to open this link. This is the actual newsletter page. It's going to get the HTML. It's going to run beautiful soup over it. and then it's going to save it. It's going to append it to a text file. So you always want to, when you open a, like a text file to write into or whatever, you usually want to use the with statement. So what the width does is automatically closes it when it's done. Okay, I'm going to use A for append. And then I'm just going to append all the A hrefs. And then I'm going to want a new line at the end of those. So, oops. Okay, now this script is definitely not beautiful. It's not what I would call Pythonic necessarily, but it's used to get the job done. All right, see the little star there? That means it's running. I guess if you have a lot of these, it might be a good idea to show a progress bar or something like that, which you certainly can do. All right, so it finished. Let's see what we got. We got something called newsletter links. Let's just do a quick. Okay, so these are all the newsletter links. A bunch of these are going to be things we don't want. So I'm going to open up in Vim again, and I'm going to do a little bit of text manipulation to get it in a format that I like. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is do a quick sort. All right, a bunch of this stuff I don't need. Okay. You notice there are a bunch of the things that are the same. That would be a good one to get rid of. Yeah, many of this MailChimp stuff we probably don't need. I'm gonna just look at the bottom real quick. Mail to, yeah, these are good ones to get rid of right away. Anything that doesn't start with www. Oh my gosh, there's 4,000 links in this thing. 
Uh, this might be a few more links than one would would hope for. But this is just sort of a a proof of proof of concept. All right, so four thousand links seems like quite a bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is sort and then remove anything that's duplicated. So I'm going to be a, do a sort unique. Okay. Oh, that gives us only 3,500. Wow, they got a lot of YouTube links on here. So anyway, this is how I got all the links from an archive of newsletters. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Python is rad. Click on this link for Jeff Bezos' net worth in 192018. Subscribe below. A lot of people ask if Python is as fun as riding motorcycles uh, in the sand dunes, and I, I have to honestly say it is.